You are missing the point of anti-work. While there's always been some, I've noticed a sharp uptick in posts just complaining about random things that are annoying at their job. I just saw a post complaining about the snacks work provided for them being unhealthy. The point of anti-work is that we shouldn't have to work our lives away in order to just exist in the world, and that when we are, we should be treated as human beings with respect from our employer. No, your boss asking you to remember to bring the sign in when you close isn't included in that. These are actual important issues in our society and it's being muddled by people clogging this sub with stupid complaints. This sub has taught me that we are nowhere near revolution. Anti-work has a few good posts here and there, but it is a really popular sub. And as all popular subs it has descended into becoming a karma farm. Anti-work is France protesting two more years of forced labor before retirement eligibility. Most of the posts I see in here are Gen Z texting nasty things to their bosses when asked if they can come in for an unscheduled shift. Karma whores everywhere. But did you know it snows in places and people still have to work? Question mark. You know what's crazy is I like working. I enjoy my job and if I didn't have to work, I probably still would. I just don't want to toil away for slave wages and have to sacrifice parts of my life just to exist. I'm inclined it to agree. Some of these complaints are anon. However, I prefer to allow people to vent if they need to. I do believe a lot of these frivolous complaints are distractions away from the actual problems that we're to deal with, possibly even paid actors to be bad actors. So, how to pick them out? This subreddit has been a parody of the original intent for years now it's nothing recent. Can you not just add flares to differentiate the workplace complaints? Yes, this is true. I've been here a long time and have noticed this but having to deal with work is also part of being anti-work. I saw one post from someone complaining they didn't get to start a job because they were 9 minutes late on the first day. I'd say there's a lot come over from the conservative pages to muddle the narrative. You must be new here. This sub is 20% quality posts, and 40-40 it's fake posts, crybabies. Actually this sub is about this. A subreddit for those who want to end work. Are curious about ending work. Want to get the most out of a work-free life. Want more information on anti-work ideas and want personal help with their own jobs, work-related. Struggles. People take it to a whole new level. I think a portion of the adulteration is coming from the anti anti work subs. This sub has been a roller coaster. It's been hard to take it seriously. Ever since the televised interview. Dot and the constant posts like you mentioned. While I agree there is a larger philosophical project with regards to fundamentally changing the employment paradigm. I strongly disagree that we shouldn't be talking about the little things. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This subreddit is not mission control. This subreddit is not going to change anything. This subreddit is not ground zero for a movement. This subreddit is, at most, symptomatic of a larger shift in mindset we're seeing among the younger workers in the Western world. This is not the epicenter of a movement. And this subreddit is not a means by which change will be achieved. The best thing this subreddit can do is to provide a place for workers to commiserate, talk, share stories, etc. That is literally all this sub is capable of accomplishing. If you aspire to bigger things, you need to be organizing it somewhere else. This is not mission control. 
This is a corporate site that has been chomping at the bit to ban this sub since it took off. This will not ever be ground zero for anyone's revolution. Thank you peed the bed last night. I think wanting breaks, lunch is a reasonable bitch. I've worked at a lot of places in the last year that want the most amount of productivity. They gaslight employees. You want a break? Well then we can't finish this project as fast. Or go home as early. It's extremely difficult to push through a 12-hour day. At a physical job. No time to eat. No time to rest. A big issue is just a collection of a whole lot of small issues. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.